Welcome to Technically Speaking. I'm Glenn Schuldis, Applications Engineer at Wilson Tool, and today I'd like to talk to you about the fixturing that we use for the X-Sharp grinder. So let's get started. Here we have two basic chucks that we use. The three-jaw chuck, which is used for all flat tools, flat dies or punches, what have you. And the four-jaw chuck, which is used for tools that have an angle on the top, a rooftop shear or a whisper shear or any type of angle on the top of the tool. So let's go ahead and have a look at how the three-jaw works. You set a tool on there. You want to make sure that you have the tool sitting on the same level of all three jaws. And then we tighten it up. And you want to make sure that the top of the tool is above the highest point of the jaws so that you don't hit the jaws when you're grinding. And that works for most tools, most flat tools. For this inch and a quarter punch, we'll just open the jaws slightly. Put the tool in there. Again, making sure that the top of the tool is above the top of the jaws. So let's take a look at some of the adapters that are available and some of the reasons for the adapters. Uh, if we take a look at the trump size one die and just put that directly in the three jaw chuck, we can see that it, it clamps fine in the three jaw chuck but it sits too low so we would be grinding the, the uh, top jaw of the chuck and we don't want that. So we need some way to raise the tool up if we try to put it in the next step of the jaws, the jaws don't close far enough to grab the tool. We offer an adapter that pretty much converts the, the size 1 die to a size 2. Tighten the set screw to fix it in there. And then put that in the 3 jaw chuck. And that works perfectly for us. So another adapter is for EXP punches. Here we have a half inch EXP punch. This is just a little bit too small to put into the three jaw truck directly. So we have the adapter here. We go in here, tighten the set screw, and now it's, it goes into the chuck just like a normal inch and a quarter punch. This adapter has on the other end the correct size for an inch and a quarter EXP punch. So it's convenient for both size tools. So let's take a look then at how the four jaw chuck works. So the four jaw chuck is used anytime we want to tip the tool to the correct angle for, for any sort of an angle that the punch might have. For example, a whisper shear or a rooftop shear. In most cases we have a, a simple keying fixture that helps us get the punch oriented correctly for the type of tool that we're using. So here is the fixture for a trunk tool. That just helps us get the tool in line with the way the chuck is going to tip. And now to get the, t the chuck tipped to the correct angle we have these two screws and we also just use a simple bubble level here to help us get the tool flat. So we just turn that up so it's flat and then use the other screw to lock it in position. And we're ready then to grind this angle. For a, a rooftop shear, what I have is an old style three and a half inch station tool. We have a different keying plate for that. It's got the tab here that lines up with the keyway on the old style tool. Tighten the tool up again. And again, adjust the angle. Just happens in this case that I'm already at the correct angle from that previous punch. So I'm ready to grind this flat surface. Then I want to turn it around 180 degrees to get the other side of the rooftop. And I can just take the tool out of the chuck, turn the key plate around 180 degrees, turn the punch around 180 degrees. And now I'm already at the correct angle for the other side of the rooftop. Let's take a quick look at what it takes to change the chucks on the machine. We have just the one bolt. We loosen that. 
that releases the wedge. Then we can remove the chuck, install the other one, and then just tighten the one bolt. And that's all there is to that. Summary of the fixturing for the X-Sharp grinder. We have the three-jaw chuck that handles the flat tools and the four-jaw chuck that handles anything with an angle on it, like a whisper shear or a rooftop shear. So I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if you do, please click like. Uh, if you have ideas for other technically speaking videos, please uh, put them in the comments below or send them to the email address that you see on the screen. And technically speaking, now you know.